the data hub will have a web portal that will be used for both data discovery as well as administration purposes. We'll have role-based access control, as you can see in the upper right corner. There's a login. That per person that logs in has administrative permissions. They'll have uh, more functionality. Let's give it a uh, quick look. Here I'm logged in as Jane Doe, and you can see there's a quick summary of most active users, new users, and menu bar up top is the roles and permissions. So there'll be data level security. Roles and permissioning will be stored with the data. So when a user attempts to submit a query, they must have a security context and give them access to that data. If they don't, depending on their role, they may have a limited access, a redacted read where data is masked or full read capabilities. Back to the home page again, we get the list of most active users, set of new users. All of this is very customizable. Um, left nav here is their faceted search as shown earlier. Add the pages by the user's name, birth year, etc. Let's take a look at Joyce Watson. I'll drill down. I could show here's her quick summary of her information. Most recent journey activity shows types of views, in this case, watching videos the operating system, browser types. I could drill down further and get more detailed information. Okay, Everything's server-side pagination and sorting down here. So everything's designed to be sub-second response. So there you get a list of users. You could come here, we could get a list of activities, which leads to this journey map view where we'll be able to trace a user from the moment they join to the moment they deposit assets to their first trade all the way until they reach retirement age. So it's an opportunity for uh, to leverage this fabulous data fabric, the TD Ameritrade data fabric, and will give us this wonderful ability for that 360 view. Thanks for listening.